Marvel, welcome back to another Terraria video. Today, we are back seeing if Terraria bosses can survive another powerful weapon. This weapon is the Origin Buster from the OP Yo Yo mod or OP Yo Yo Origin Buster, whatever. As you can see, it's got some weird text there at the top. The melee damage is moving all over the place. The critical strike chance is negative. The Yo Yo emanates an unbelievably strong aura, so strong that it disintegrates enemies. Its aura's radius depends on the distance between you and the Yo Yo. Beautiful, that's all I need to hear. So when we use it very close to us, look at the little tiny area it does. Look at that, very nice. We put it far away and look how big it gets, amazing. So obviously, let's go ahead, let's test this out on some dummies bring them down over here but yeah let me zoom out oh my god something exploded oh my god i think the enemies explode when they die and this thing could kill dummies too which is honestly a rare sight don't worry i have a world backup i literally just made one because i tested this yo-yo for like half a second and it blew up something and i was like oh maybe i should make a backup but if i spawn in regular enemies here do they also blow up how how come the dummies are the ones that blow up all the stuff what the heck <laughs> but yeah as you can see this thing can get pretty dangerous. You could also bring it really far. I bet if we had like the further zoom out mod, we could probably zoom out super far away. But yeah, ignore if you hear my keyboard in the background. I did change my switches on my keyboard. And, uh, you know, I made them nice and loud. They feel really nice. They're not uh, Cherry MX Blues, in case you uh, keyboard heads are wondering. They are Box Jades, aka the superior version of any clicky switch. But yeah, let's get to it. We're going to start with the King Slime, obviously. Come on. King Slime, let's see him in action here. Beautiful. I don't even... Was that a death? I got I to gotta see it again. Like, there's no treasure bag or anything. I mean, I guess I'll take it. We've had other weapons do crazier things before. Boom, Queen Bee is dead. Skeletron, daytime Skeletron. Oh, look, he dropped his stuff. That's interesting. Maybe if I, like, directly hit things with the yo-yo, they drop their stuff? Yeah. If I kill them with the aura effect, then that disintegrates them? That's what it said, right? Yeah. So, okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. Let's go ahead. Let's see the Brain of Cthulhu here. I'll try my best to directly hit him with the yo-yo. But, you know, if, if the disintegration happens first, it happens first. What can I do there? But, yeah, we are, what, three episodes away from what an oh my god what just happened what was that noise anyways we're three episodes away from the 30th episode the episode where i said i would change things up do some different bosses but for that 30th episode we're gonna need a really strong weapon because obviously it's a special episode we're gonna need a special weapon for that episode because it just wouldn't be right if i had a really weak weapon so i want you guys for this episode and the next one i already have the next episode's weapon planned but for this episode and the next one i want you you guys to leave the strongest weapon you can think of because we want that 30th episode to be awesome but yeah anyways let's go ahead let's run through the last set of uh, pre-hard mode bosses here uh it's kind of weird like not having like a death noise from some of these bosses and said they're disintegrating but i'll still take it you know a boss kills a boss kill hold up that was the weirdest one. Oh no box i try to hit him with the yo-yo too and still no box i want to do it again until i get a box give me a box please please just give me a box yeah all right the mech bosses boom who's getting disintegrated everyone just walk into it make it easier for me. all right don't make it easier it's fine i can just get all of them myself let's hit up the golem and plantera of course this weapon might go pretty far if i'm being 100 percent honest here you know what? while i'm down here let's just let's fight okram whatever but for the for the heck of it let's just take them out you actually did drop a treasure bag it's kind of hard to get them to drop that treasure bag you know i feel like it takes me a couple tries especially the wall of flesh that that definitely took us a couple tries i just gotta make that perfect contact with the yo yo boom I felt like I made good contact there, but it's fine. All right, let's go ahead and take on the old one army set of bosses here. Boom, Ogre, Betsy, bye-bye. Of course, we got everyone's favorite ship. Just kidding. We all have a favorite ship in 1.4. Just kidding, because that ship got nerfed. The black spot, just in case you guys don't know what I'm talking about. All right, so we got the, the wood boys, and then we got the tank boy. Oh, the tank boy is actually shooting. interesting all right on to the royalty is what i like to call them don't run away i got you because they're king and queen pretty much royalty right boom got her before she ran away too of course we got the martian saucer gotta take that one out and we are ready for the boys over here but first let's do the dungeon guardian why not knock that out of the way i have a good feeling about this weapon Yep, and we actually got the drops. Look at that. And now we can take out the boys. What's up, my boys? How y'all doing on this nice day? Let's go ahead. Let's take them out. 
Oh, okay. We gotta actually summon in the cultists ourselves for once. Now, I wonder what happens if I just summon them like this. Does this work? Okay, it works. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna let him go through the animation first before I kill him. Just so I could, you know, get the pillars to spawn in. Okay, that's fine. I'll summon him again, but this time I'll kill him with the Tome of Manipulation. All right, now we for sure got the pillars to spawn in. Let's do it. Pillar speed run, baby. I'm gonna have to summon in the cultist myself or the moon lord myself. That's that's fun. It's fine. It, you know, it's different. It's different. I'll take it. A different experience. You know, we need that every once in a while in this series. Oh, no. Look, he's still approaching. Okay, that's cool. I guess in the meantime, while we wait, we can fight the uh, Thorium bosses now. Let's start with Abyssion. Boom. Get them out of here. And they actually did drop the treasure bags, most of them. Hey, what's up, Moon Lord? Let me get one of those eyes. Okay, that works. I don't know why I'm still surprised every time this yo-yo does something like that. This yo-yo feels like the uh, black hole pickaxe. And I kind of like it. I like how the black hole pickaxe would literally suck things into a void. That idea was always fun to me. All right, let's take on the dream eater, right? Is that the name of it? Boom, dream eater. What's up? Bye-bye. No loud death noise. That's actually a good thing. Let's go ahead. Let's take on the mutant. Where the hell is he? Boom, right here. You don't stand a chance against the origin buster. No one does. And since we did that, you know, we might as well do the idol on worm like right now. We might as well. We're about to do the clamby stuff. Fuck it. Let's do the idol on worm right now. Oh my God. And it did the drops too. We have two back to back episodes where we killed the idol on worm. That's insane. Has that ever happened in the series? I have no idea. But let us get to not only dog, but I like to grab all the spawners too. Here you get to hear my keyboard a little bit. And of course, cannot forget the eye of extinction for Supreme Cow. Let's get to it. Dog, you don't stand a chance. You don't. Is there a phase two? I don't know if there'll be phase two. I don't think there will be, honestly. So we'll summon it in again and we'll kill it like that. And now there should be phase two. Yeah, because the music's still playing. All right, let me get that phase two, baby. Run into this. Run into this for me. Thank you. All right, next up, we got everyone's favorite jungle dragon. Just kidding. I don't I don't really like this dragon. He's loud. But let's take him out anyway. See you later. And then we have Supreme Cal. We're just running through this right now. Supreme Cal, can I reach you from over there? Oh, you're so lucky. You're so lucky. You're just off the screen and the blocks are stopping me she's lucky man she really is she's gonna make me sit through this stuff again oh sepulcher see you later oh see you later too beautiful all right so who do we have left we have the ugandan knuckles will it tell me to use the spawner item or will it just spawn in it's gonna tell me to use the spawner item which is it's kind of annoying because i think it was last episode it literally spawned in when i clicked it and that's never happened before except for the last episode all right let's do it let's do it i'm gonna just get him out of here there's there's nothing there's nothing else to it you want to do it again let's wait until he actually gets into his form get him out of here who else do we got who else wants beef i would love to go against the like eternity mode bosses episode 30 episode 30 we might go against some of the eternity mode bosses all right as in probably these guys in eternity mode i feel like that'd be fun to do but yeah i don't know i guess let's just go against Ek death we could call it an episode after Ek death uh, i just i want to fight one more thing i don't know i don't know what i want to fight i just want to fight one more thing poltergeist fuck it bring it plague bringer fuck it the old duke fuck him i don't know who this is oh it won't even let me spawn whoever that is the ceaseless void F fuck it too i know that's a boss some people wanted me to fight maybe once we pass episode 30 i think after episode 30 i also am gonna change up the world i think maybe it's time to go to a new world i don't know but yeah let us go ahead and fight act death here let's get to it what's up act death i'm very sorry i gotta do this boom act death dead let's try it with the disintegration too okay and then i kind of want to actually like kill it is that an actual kill right there i don't know i don't know if that death drops a treasure bag or what so i can't tell but there you go another op weapon that has gone through everything i've thrown at it pretty insane i know it doesn't look like a yo-yo when you look at it like this so hopefully in the thumbnail you guys can tell it's a yo-yo i'm probably gonna have pudis fix that up but it's still a nice sprite it looks like a calamity uh sprite honestly but yeah the origin buster shout out to the creator of this mod this was a really fun weapon again for episode 30 i need you guys to leave some super op weapon suggestions i'm talking about weapon 
happens just like this origin buster because we obviously want episode 30 to go crazy we're gonna go against a bunch of new modded bosses as in ones we usually don't see in this series like we might even we might do like ancients awaken we might do the enigma mod we might add in bosses from those mods just to kill them and see what's popping with them because episode 30 is probably gonna be a long episode we'll see but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this episode i hope you're enjoying game raiders month we'll see if we fully get through it if you guys weren't on that stream where i talked about you know i got my covid vaccine and then i was pretty much sick the next day after that and that kind of threw off the whole game raiders month schedule so we'll see if we get through it i promise that if i don't do all 30 days we'll do like 15 days this month and then like 15 days next month that way you guys kind of get a month of at least you know 15 days of videos but yeah hope you guys enjoyed again i'll see y'all in the next one